Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how you can reset a WordPress website. So let's get started. Okay, so we're here in our WordPress dashboard. So before uh, resetting our WordPress website, I want to show you how our website looks. So I'm going to hover my mouse over here and then click on visit site. Okay, so this is our website. We're using the Bloxy theme and this is just a starter site that we just imported. As you can see, this site is very comprehensive. It has a lot of details. It has also multiple pages, the About Us page. You can see there's some text over here, a video over here, company values. There's the contact page, you can see. And there's a blog page also with a couple of posts. So let's take a look at the posts. So this is how uh, the post looks. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. And let's click on the posts. So these are the posts that we currently have. And let's click on the pages. And these are all the pages. So before uh, resetting our website, let's take a look at our themes. So these are the themes that we currently have. We have the Bloxy child theme installed, and that is the Bloxy main theme. And we also have the 2023 theme installed. Now it's not necessary to install the 2023 theme, but in case you don't want to activate the Bloxy child theme, when you reset your website, you might want to uh, have the 2023 backup theme because the reset plugin uh, sets this as the default theme. All right, now let's install the WP Reset plugin. Go into plugins. So these are the plugins that we are currently using. We're not using that many plugins. The Bloxy Companion plugin, Elementor, Stackable, WP Forms. So let's click on the Add New button. And from the search bar, we're going to type in WP Reset. You can hit Enter on your keyboard, but it's not necessary. This is the plugin that we want to install, which is the WP Reset, most advanced WordPress reset tool. It has been developed by Web Factory Limited and, and it has over 400,000 active installations. So click on the Install Now button and give it a few moments to install. Okay, so the plugin has been installed. Now click on Activate. Okay, so the plugin has been activated and it says here that thank you for installing the WP Reset plugin. Open Tools WP Reset to access your resetting tools and start developing and debugging faster. So I'm going to dismiss this. You can see this is the plugin over here. So let's go to Tools and WP Reset. It's been added here. So before you reset, you can read these things. It already says here, please read carefully before proceeding. From here, you can get the information what will be removed and what will be reset from your website. Uh, you can take a look at this, but in short, I'm saying that uh, WP Reset will not delete any themes or plugins. It will just deactivate those. If you want to delete those plugins, you have to do it manually. So there's a couple of other things that you can do you can read all of this what happens when I run any reset tool so remember always make a backup first or use snapshots so it is a good idea to back up your uh, website because if something goes wrong with the reset you can rely on the backup again you'll have to confirm the action one more time see the table above to find out what exactly will be reset or deleted so we have to check all of these out in order to be sure that what will be uh, deleted uh, check your site title wordpress url site url site language search engine visibility and current user will be restored and the next point is you will be logged out and you will automatically be logged back in and taken to the admin dashboard WP Reset plugin will be reactivated if that option is chosen. After reading all of this, uh, let's proceed to resetting our WordPress website. So from here, you can see the site reset. Okay, so there are uh, three settings over here. The first one says reactivate the current theme. So the current theme is the Bloxy child, so I want it to be reactivated. So I'm going to check on this box. If you do not 
check this box what will happen is uh, WP reset will deactivate the Bloxy child theme and it will set the 2023 theme uh, as the default theme now if you don't have the 2023 theme it will still set it as a uh, default theme but it won't be on your WordPress themes folder so at that time your website will have absolutely no theme installed so if you uh, uncheck this box make sure that you have the 2023 theme installed I'm going to check mark this box because I want to activate the Bloxy child theme then it says reactivate all currently active plugins so I don't want them to be reactivated I want all of them to be deactivated after reading all of this um, click on this input box and type in R-E-S-E-T reset and then click on this button reset site now it will actually prompt that are you sure you want to reset the site so once you're sure click on this reset WordPress button now give it a few seconds resetting is in progress and it will just take a few seconds all right so our WordPress site has been reset so let's uh, hover our mouse over here and then click on visit site as you can see that the entire site has been reset and there's nothing over here this is the Bloxy child theme so let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and check everything out so all the posts has been removed and this is the hello world post which is usually the first post you get when you install WordPress as for pages there's no more uh, pages there's only the private uh, privacy policy and sample page for appearance the Bloxy child theme has been activated because we selected the checkbox and if we hadn't select the checkbox the 2023 theme would have been selected as the default theme and as for plugins all of these plugins has been deactivated so if you don't want these plugins to be on your website you have to manually delete all of these plugins so that is basically how you can reset your WordPress website. I hope this video was helpful for you. I know this was a short video. If you think that this video was helpful, give it a like, share, and subscribe to this channel because it will encourage us to make more helpful videos like this. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.